Hello everybody. Um, we are in Croatia today. Let's look at a few more shirts um, of my collection that are hanging here for the Nations League. And yeah, I'm wearing Croatia, I'm playing Spain. Um, so let's look at that jersey. Uh, that's my, another Spain jersey. We already looked at this one. England we already looked at. Let's go right to Spain. Spain 2008. So, Euro winning jersey. I got this off eBay uh, after they won the Euros and it actually was a little bit challenging to get this jersey because um, at first I got it and it was a youth size it just didn't fit me this is still very tight but yeah um, from what I can tell it's legit I saw a similar one so um, very happy about that it is not only the winning jersey from 2009 that when I saw it at first I was not so fond because of this mustard yellow stri um, stripes here and the mustard yellow outline. I also thought that the Spanish coat of arms looks a little bit weird in this shield because before it just was plain. But the more I watch this the more I like this. Look at all the detail in the full colored version. This is a marvelous thing. Absolute beauty. And yeah, Absolute Beauty was also the game that Spain played at that Euros. And this is of course the Torres shirt. Torres number 9, who scored the winning goal. After that he was never the same. It's, you can see the number is a little bit beat up, but it's also legit this number. And of course I have the sleeve patch here for Euro 2008. Euro 2008 was of course in my home country, so I had to get a few shirts. This was the first tournament where actually they had this um, promotion in Austria. If the team is eliminated, you get 50% off a shirt and I got a lot of those. Um, no, not a lot, but I got a few of those. And I made it kind of a sport to get Euro 2008 shirts. Don't have too many to be honest, but maybe, maybe. Well, winning shirt, what can you say? Uh, so that already says a lot. It has a lot of paneling. Uh, if you look at it, you have the first the plane panel, then here on the side there is this weird dot pattern on there. Kind of, I think there was ventilation on the player version. Then you have those panels up here. That's a little bit of ventilation. Uh, also there's some ventilated material on the sleeves, on the lower part, the upper part is just a plain cloth. And the color, I was glad that Spain, Yukio, it has two parts. You have this front part here, and then you have this part. And like Germany used white here and made it black. I like that Spain went with a unicolored version here. Makes it look a lot better. Uh, I'm usually not a fan of the number being here on the right. I'd rather have the number sample, but here it makes a whole lot of sense. The number is almost as big as the crest and then the Adidas logo centered. I actually saw this shirt in action in person when Spain played Italy in the quarterfinals. Exactly in that shirt. I have actually the Italy shirt from that match as well. Um, yeah, great memories from that tournament. Spain was scintillating at that tour uh, at the tournament. I also have another jersey that, of a team that Spain played at Sweden that I was wearing uh, yesterday. And maybe we'll see. I'll probably do it in my next video. Um, not only did Spain play well, uh, having hosted a tournament together with Switzerland, Spain was the only team that played all games in Austria and they won it. So that made it special for me too, because the tournament uh, setup was very, very, very weird. That you had groups A and B make one finalist and C and D make the other one and then some groups are changing over. If Austria would have uh, advanced they would have to play the semi-final in Switzerland for some reason. So yeah it was weird from the get-go. Uh, I'm glad that they, they came up with more sensible um, formats later on. But yeah this shirt I have also the pants with it to go with it. It's a really nice one and I'm happy that I have it even with the patch here. So that makes it even more special. Let me know what you think about this shirt. If you have any memories with that one, um, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon. Bye.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.